Hi guys, welcome back to Zillennial Budgets. My name is Jess and today we're going to do a cash stuffing. Today we are going to stuff the first paycheck of January 2022. How exciting. As you can see, every slot is filled. So that's also really exciting. We're going to be stuffing my office pay, which I was able to make a little bit more than usual, which is uh, $1,146. So exciting. And then we have rollover and... Um, well, I guess rollover because, uh, week five rollover from my last paycheck for my office week four, and then all of week five for my side income. And so it was 148 and $67, which then the total is $1,361 we're stuffing today. What? It's crazy that's so exciting so happy about that we do have some new funds here some new uh, layouts different order for my cash envelopes exciting things i have my budget book over here if you guys haven't seen um my book tour and financial goals of 2022 check that out if you want to see how i do my layout for my budget book of this year i'm using my ipad i designed everything myself either on procreate or on excel and then uploaded it as a pdf so i'm very excited um, I already wrote out all my balances. They're here. I know that some people do that as a cash stuff, but I just think it kind of takes more time than needed. And also, it gives me reassurance when I cash stuff on camera if I already know what the balance is going to be before because... It's a little safety net okay i just i prefer that so i already have them written there and we're gonna get started so this first binder here are my fixed expenses and my cash like weekly cash envelopes so we're gonna start with rent rent is the most important and that is gonna get 350 dollars today 100 200 300 and 50 after we add it to what's in the envelope already, we should have $450. Let's have a 100 rollover just in case. I like a little buffer. So now rent has 100, 200, 300, 400, and 450. So I'm good for February now, which is great. But obviously I still need to stuff another 50 so I have my rollover for next month. After that we have phone and phone is gonna get $10 today. And it's just going to be a $10 bill. Easy peasy. So now phone has 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. I'm so sorry. I will fix that, guys, next week. I promise. We will get that off that awkward number. So $49 in phone. After that, we have Wi-Fi. So I know some of you probably want an update about my Wi-Fi bill. So it's now $90 a month, guys. Insane. So I called Xfinity and they did tell me it was a promo for my first year and that's why it was $60. And I was like, um, excuse me. And so I applied for this benefit discount thing and I just had to submit my pay stubs because I literally make so little that I got approved immediately, which is great. So now I'm going to get $30 a month off of my internet bill. And so for January, I still have to pay $90 and then they'll double up in February to make up for January, which is no complaints here, which is great. So that means I need to make sure I have enough for internet for this month because I have to pay $90 on the 15th. Exciting things. And with that being said, internet is going to get $85 today. So that's going to be a 50, a 20, a 10, and a 5. Just to double check, this is $85, 50, 70, 80, 85. I've really enjoyed having my cash tray face this way. I usually prefer to have my cash tray this way for anyone who's new, but I switched it to this way a couple months ago and I've actually really liked it thus far. Wi-Fi or internet now has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is perfect. 
I do still owe because there was one month where they double charged me and that's when they changed my plan price also so I still have to pay that on my credit card I think I still owe like $60 and then I'll have my 90 for January I'm hoping that's enough otherwise I'll pay what I can on the credit card and I'll just have to wait yeah so I should be good all right, so trailer has a thousand dollars in the bank. Always exciting. I missed a, a little hole. If you want to see me putting the 1k slip into trailer, watch my last bill swap because that is where the money came from. But today for trailer, we're going to put $240 in. So that's a 100, 200, and then 20, 40. New balance and trailer is 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we have $1,434 in trailer. Anyone who's new, uh, trailer is just the fee that I pay twice a year for our campsite, little camper thingy that we have up north in Ontario. We own it, our, my family owns it. We just pay a, like a park fee twice a year. So that's what I save up for. Spotify and family loan will not be stuffed today. Moving on to credit card and that is gonna get $45 today. Ah, if I can open it. So that is two 20s and a five. The new balance in credit card is now 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. So $195 is currently in credit card. Oops, that is not straight. That is unacceptable. All right, moving on, we have student loans. I have to start funding this again fun times and today it is going to get $95 so that is a 50 a tw two 20s and a five just to verify it is 50 70 95 we're gonna add the $12 that we have in here currently and now the new balance in student loans is 50, 70, 90, 100, 105, 106, 107. So we have $107 in student loans. Yay! <laughs> I can't wait till I make like real adult money and then I can like tackle this because I want you gone. Finished. But we'll get there eventually. Okay, so groceries and weekly get funded by my side income. So transportation will be funded today with my office pay and the rollover. And transportation is going to get $50. And we're just going to do a $50 bill. So now transportation has 50, 70, 90, 110, and 120. Just as we went back to working from home. Uh, for now, it's just going to be for January. So I'm going to continue funding this because I don't want to stop and then get screwed over um and for now all we know is that it's going to be just January so I have under the impression that I'm going back to work in the office on January 31st so come the end of January if things change then maybe I won't put as much in transportation come February but we kind of just have to play it by ear for now to see what is going to happen with the new variant and so moving on to long-term sinking funds, which is in this little binder clip. And I know it's not in a binder, it's not very satisfying, but I've seen other budgeters have loose envelopes, so leave me alone. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with savings and that's gonna get $45 today. So two 20s and a five, so that's $45. And we're gonna open up this envelope to stuff it <laughs> all right the new balance and savings is 1,000 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 20 40 55 so we have 1,755 dollars 
in savings so far and our goal for the year is 2500 so i'm excited for that after that we have emergency fund which the goal is to save up another a thousand dollars and so today it's going to get 55 dollars so that's going to be a 50 and a five and now the new balance and emergency fund is 1000 oops 1050 100 105 so we have 1105 dollars with a goal of a thousand or i guess two thousand if we're including this 1k slip so do with that as you will this one's gonna be annoying to count guys i'm telling you now i do not have a, like enough hundreds in here it's a lot of like 20s so i apologize in advance <laughs> moving out today is going to get 75 dollars so that's a 50 a 20 and a five so moving out total is 3500 i still owe myself like 139 dollars from this so it's not going to be completely accurate until that is fully paid back um and only two thousand of the dollars from here are in the bank the other thousand is still here um it desperately needs a bill swap i'm aware <laughs> So hopefully we can get that done sooner than later and it's absolutely going to be so satisfying when that bill swap happens because there are a shit ton of 20s here. Alright, so moving out now has, oh there should be, oh there is, okay. So moving out now has 1,000, 2,000. I'm gonna break this in half to count it because it's gonna be a little difficult otherwise. 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500. So this is 2,500 right here. 20, 40, 60, 80. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. 2, 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. So this right here is $3,000. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36. All right, let's see what the tracker says. Oh, okay, that is right. I just didn't write it right in my iPad tracker. So, good job. Good job, Jess. 3,436 is correct ha 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 all right boo boo the fool i am next home reno and this is money that i have to pay back not that i'm saving up so reno is going to get 27 dollars today it was an odd paycheck so someone had to get the odd numbers and renovation was that so it's going to get a 20, a 5, and two ones. Now home renovation has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 dollars. I'm sorry that it ended on a 9. It is what it is. <laughs> I think 9s are just attracted to me because I was born on the 9th. I'm... An odd baby, quite literally. I was born on the ninth day of the 11th month, 1995, all odd numbers, at 1.23 a.m. And tw the two is not an odd number, but 23 is an odd number. So do with that as you will. Pay Myself Back is empty. I put the money back into moving out where it came from. And so this is going to finish the rest of the 139 I think I owe myself for moving out. And then that will be done. And then I don't need this anymore. So today it's going to get $65. So that is a 50, a 10, and a 5. So now anything that ends in a 5 is just going to have to get 1s. 
So that's $65 and this one is done. After that we have school and that is going to get $50 today. And this is the paying back, not saving up. $50 bill. And now payback school, not payback school, payback my mom for school <laughs> is at 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 10, 11, 12. So it's at $412. And then it just gets oh, clipped. Moving on. We have the last binder here. I'm just gonna, oh, there's a five. There's, a, there's more fives. Well, clearly I did not do a great job separating the money. Anyways, moving on to this binder. We're gonna start with personal and personal today is going to get five. I lied, it's gonna get 30 buckaroos. This is open. All right, so that's gonna be a 20 and a 10. Ah, go in, thank you. Okay, so we're just gonna move everything up because we can. After that, we have travel, and travel is gonna get $20 today. Clearly I did something wrong because I should have had enough denominations, but I don't. So, so two tens for travel is 20. And that is all it has. After that we have business and business is gonna get $14 today. Why do I have extra ones? This is my question. One, two, three, four. Where were I, where was I? Where did I go wrong? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna figure that out after. I just might not have included all my extra ones, which is a possibility because all the fives were done. I did the 27 that had two ones. I'm gonna come back to it. We're gonna finish this cash stuffing and then I'll let you know an update after. <laughs> so business is gonna get $14 today. That is five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. These ones are gonna stay here. We're gonna figure out where you go after. Otherwise, if I was uh, just right with everything cash stuffing wise and I for some reason have extra ones, they're just gonna go into uh, the next the next cash stuffing. So my, uh, my next office pay, because I guess that just makes the most sense. Business now has 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. 69 and 70 dollars and again we're saving up for our next giveaway which is when the zb when this channel hits 2,000 subscribers lastly we have medical and that is going to get a hundred dollars today because i have a dentist appointment in february <laughs> all right so now it has 100 120 121 and 122 and that is all i have so why we have extra money left over is confusing to me let's see how much it is one two three four five so now i'm just wondering did something not get the five it should have gotten i'm gonna go through and count all my funds and see where i messed up and i will be back with an update so I figured out where the last five goes to. I just was going to go through and add all these together to make sure this was the right total. And then I realized I have to put $5 back into my bank for the bank fee. That is why. So mystery solved. It only took me like two seconds. Thank goodness. I didn't even put my phone back on my tripod because it's not worth it. Just a little update. That is where the $5 are going to go. So they're going to go back into my bank. I do have a deposit envelope. So for now, it's just going to go into that. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this cash stuffing. Um, I don't know why my videos are just feeling a little weird today. So if there's anything off with the vibes, I apologize. But I was really excited to stuff like $1,300 in my cash envelopes, guys. Super exciting. 
and yeah that is all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a nice thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye